Hey guys, this is Sim328 and uh, today I'm going to do a quick uh, Blu-ray and DVD update for you guys. Um, okay, so I've got one DVD here, uh, three normal Blu-rays and two Steelbooks. So let's get started. I'll show you the DVD first. Uh, it's a cheap for, uh, buy a bot and it's um, My Dog Skip with uh, Star Fracky Muniz who's also been in like uh, Malcolm in the Middle. Um, I've seen this, like, it's a Warner Bros film, I've seen this a couple of years ago. And I thought it was a great film. It's got everything in it. It's got suspense and kind of like um, uh, emotions and all that sort of thing. It's about a kid who grows up and he's got really he hasn't got any friends. <clears throat> and his mother decides to buy him a dog. Um, the father's against it. Uh, played by Luke Wilson. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so it grow the relationship grows up and um, it's quite a sad film as well at times. Um, and uh, it's. It just makes you think and all that. So it's just a wee cheap buy I got from HMV, so um, it's not too bad. I'll just show you the disc. It's, it's one of them discs where it's just like double layer kind of thing. It's just both the same, the front and the back of the disc. Um, but yeah, it was not bad for about £4, so that's my dog Skip. Move on to some horror films. I need to get this for a while, and it's The Descent Part 2. Um, I got the first one blurry with the, the slip cover too. I thought I was going to get slip cover, but I got it, and I was I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, I purchased this, and um, I loved this. This is the f this is this is the first one as well. Thought it was a wee bit. Um, I thought the first one was a wee bit longer, but they go straight to the. Basically, it just happens right after the first one, where the woman escapes, and um, she's been put in the hospital, and that. And the, but they find out her friends are all killed and they go down there and, and then obviously they find them, more of them, so and different ones as well. And uh, yeah, it's a great, great film, good suspense and a good ending to it as well. Uh, different kind of ending you would thought would happen. <clears throat> Definitely going to watch if you're a horror fan. I really enjoyed this film. Uh, yeah, that's Descent Part 2. Next one is The Grave Encounters. I thought this would be something like Paranormal Activity. I got, I got, I never really got recommended by anyone, but um, I did see it. I didn't see it in the cinema, but I did see it like on a li on my list, and I was like, oh, I forgot about this film, so I had to order it, and I ordered it, and um, got to say I was a wee bit disappointed by this film. I what I didn't th find it that like scary or or suspense in it that much um, compared to some of the Paranormal Activity films. Um, this is one of the scariest films of the year. I don't, I don't know about that really, to be honest with you. There's other films I thought they'd be more suspenseful and scarier than that. Um, but basically, it's this. It's basically a TV kind of show that films like uh, ghost encounters and all that. But then they're actually filming it and it's happened to them and it's actually real because, in the, at the start, you can see they were kind of like faking some of the stuff and all that just to. Like they're bribing people to say they've seen ghosts and all that, so and you thought, oh, this isn't going to be great, and then they actually do see a ghost, and well, kind of weird, um, paranormal stuff happening and all that, so it is kind of a weird ending as well to it. So, but I would recommend this as a rent to be honest with you. So, yeah, that's a like great encounters. Moving on, um, I've got a steelbook here. I don't think I showed this in my last update. Didn't have it in time. It's the Saving Private Ryan Steelbook um, for Play.com, uh, the Paramount Edition. Uh, I have not opened this up. I've seen unboxings of it. It looks really great. I probably won't unbox this because I've got this in Blu-ray already. Um, so I'm trying to buy Steelbooks and keep them sealed. It's a nice looking Steelbook inside, I've been told as well and seen. Um, yeah, I just, I just try to keep them sealed to be honest with you guys. But it's a nice looking Steelbook and... Uh, I probably might open it one day, and uh, it's probably one of my favorite war films as well. Saving Private Ryan, a lot of everyone's probably seen this, and uh, it's got Tom Caesar, Matt Damon, Edward Burns, and of course Tom Hanks, which did an excellent job in this film. Um, of course, another classic by Steven Sp uh, Spielberg. So that's uh, Saving Private Ryan. <clears throat> Next one is a film I've seen on Marky Man HD's channel, um, and I'm like, oh, that's a that sounds like a good film. And it's really hard to get at the moment. Uh, they always like sell out of it, and it's uh, starring Christian Bale in the Flowers of War. It comes with a really nice slipcase. It's nice embossed with his name as well and the thing. Just seeing like it's a number one box office hit and all that. It's basically throughout war and all. That. I think that's that's what the I'm getting the main impression of it here. It says there at the back. Looks pretty cool. 
doesn't allow for special features, just cast and creative views. So, yeah, anything war film within World War Two and all that, I'm a fan of. So, I had to purchase this. I haven't actually watched it yet, but um, I will watch it when I get a chance. And uh, it's uh, Flowers of War with Christian Bale. It was really good. If you've seen it, give us a comment, guys, if you've seen it. And uh, the last one's a steel boot. I just got this morning. It's out on Monday. And I, this is probably one of the most looked forward to Blu rays um, from DVD to Blu ray. I've been really looking forward to and uh, it is um, <clears throat> Jaws the Steel Book. Um, I haven't actually opened it yet and uh, I don't think I will, will open it, I'll tell you in a minute why. Um, but this comes with a blue digital copy and ultraviolet. I just don't see the point why they're given ultraviolet and digital copy because basically the difference is digital copy you can put the computer and then you can put it onto your tablets, iPads, um, iPhones etc. And ultraviolet is just basically it's on the computer and you can watch it. I think it transfers it on. So basically if it's on the computer, you can watch it uh, on your iPad or something like that. I don't really know the, the full things, how it works. But I just find it pointless. Digital copy is good, but I, I think I won't be using it anyway. Um, and the artwork is, I love how it's the original, so it looks really nice. Um, haven't seen inside it. I'll probably wait and, and, and look some on YouTube to see what's good. Just wait on YouTube. Uh, probably one of my subscribers will be getting this and they'll probably unboxing it. No doubt I'll see it. What it looks like inside. Um, Digital remaster full restore with all new 7.1 cent, which is really good. Uh, the blue exclusives uh, here has got The Shark is Still Working, The Impact of Legacy of Jaws. So all new documentary for Blu ray, so that's pretty cool. Bonus features you've got The Making of Jaws, it's a two hour documentary. Delete scenes and outtakes, storyboards uh, from the set, production photos. Marketing Jaws, uh, Jaws a phenomenon, Jaws the, the restoration, so it tells you how they restored it and all, that's pretty cool, and original theatrical trailer. This is probably one of my favourite films of all time as well, definitely my top 10, um, and the reason why I'm not actually going to be open this, I'm, I'm, it depends how really good it is inside, I really want to see it, I will buy it, it's not going to be really limited, the steel boot, it is limited, but I don't think it will be that limited, um, I'm sure you can get it within a couple of weeks and months and all that. Um, the reason is I'm actually getting the Digibook version of this film. Um, there's two kind of versions. The US got one, was a Best Buy exclusive, which I couldn't get. It's like sold out and it's really hard to get. And they had a European one, which I didn't know they'd had one. <coughs> I've seen it in a couple of people's videos. And uh, I've got a good friend of mine and a good uh, YouTube uh, YouTuber on here. He's called uh, Cinematic77. Uh, check him out, guys. Really great YouTuber. He's got an outstanding collection. And he's done me a favour by getting me the digibook it's not new but it's still it's well it is new but it's like not sealed if you get me um he's obviously bought it for me and um he's gonna send it to me I'll probably get it by next week and um the part of the deal is he's gonna give me that and i'm gonna give him the avengers exclusive steelbook in the uk so well, as soon as i get that i'll send that out to him but uh yeah i'm just gonna wait till i get the digibook i really want to see that digibook it looks really good and um someone did i did see something on amazon that they are going to release a digibook in the UK of this film, but not until like November, but I don't know if that's true or not, but I really want to get the digibook version of that film, because the digibook looks really great. And of course the steel book looks good as well, so um, I can't wait to actually watch this film, because I'm really looking forward to watching it. I probably will actually watch this tonight, because I really want to watch it. I don't think I could wait like about a week to get it, so I'll see. So guys, that's my update for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So again, I'll just give you a recap. Jaws on Steelbook Blu-ray, Falls of War, the Steel uh, Steelbook of Saving Bright Ryan, Grave Encounters, The Descent Part Two, and of course, my dog skip on the uh, DVD. So guys, that's my Blu-ray update for now. Um, as I say, I've got the digital book of Jaws coming soon, and um, that'll be next week. I'm also getting other other fans will be getting this. Uh, I'll be getting, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the American Pie reunion. I'm getting that film. That's out in a couple of weeks. Um, if you've ever seen horror films called Record, I'm getting Rec Two, Three, Number th the Third Film, and uh, there's something else, but I've forgotten what it was. Uh, but I'm getting a couple of things this month. So guys, thanks for watching this update, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later.